Hey guys, your boy Trevor here, and welcome back to Mass Effect 1. Where last time, well, we talked to the Sovereign, which was Lizner. Lizner. And now, it has already been, been, been selected. I've let, I've told Kane to die. Hey, Honor Blair. Like that, don't even remember because he's very forgettable. <laughs> I'm going back for Ashley. I'm leaving Kane to die. Because, fuck okay. Kane. Right? Yeah. Anyone who chooses Kane. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power, even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Oh, I'll stop. Do not blur yourself and I'll kill you. Well. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. I understood this. I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're like every other okay. poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign could use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, <laughs> between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. And bring it on. Oh, 
Sorry, I play some music right about our scene. And to emphasize how happy I am, he's gone. <laughs> but I would get happy. Strike, so yeah, that won't be happening. I'll do it in my head. Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. Chief Don't Williams, I am me. your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Don't question my orders. I'm I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Get it together, soldier. Caden's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did 
the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! I've never heard that name before. I am not surprised. Ilos is in a region of space accessible only through the Mew Relay. But the Mew Relay was lost thousands of years ago. Nobody knows where it is. If nobody's ever been there, how did you recognize Ilos from my visions? I recognized some of the landmarks from the photos and vids I'd seen during my research. I know of Ilos. I just do not know where it is. How do you lose a mass relay? Its original coordinates would place it deep inside the Terminus systems. Unfortunately, a star in one of those nearby systems went nova roughly 4,000 years ago. The shockwave sent the relay trillions of kilometers off course. Then the dust and the radiation from the exploding star engulfed that entire region in a dense nebula cloud. Finding any object in space is difficult. Finding the Mu Relay inside a nebula cloud is virtually impossible. It would take decades. Are you saying it's hopeless? I am afraid so. Unless you somehow find the coordinates for the Mu Relay, then it would be possible to... Oh... I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. You probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Oh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. <laughs>
satisfying. It's extremely funny because he's dead. Ah. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge. This, this is pretty much the same conversation as the last hands. time. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's no innocent victim. He was a ruthless bastard long before he fell under Sovereign's control. I know his reputation, but he was a Spectre. I think he honestly believed everything he did was for the greater good. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? There's nothing noble about Saren or what he did. He got exactly what he deserved. Yes, I suppose you're right. I should not waste sympathy on Saren. Not when there are so many others who have suffered because of him. Ah, uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Every one of us is expendable if it accomplishes the mission. Alenko, you, me. I know. If we hadn't gotten pinned down, you would have been there to help him. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses in Torfin?
We accept death when we put on the uniform, Chief. If you can't deal with that, retire. I could never do that. Not before and definitely not now. I have to be worth Caden's life. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Seriously, I, I, don't, I don't know what, why she is so upset about losing Caden. What is everybody's problem? He was useless, was worthless, and man. deserved Most to die. Have left our team behind. I mean, I could have left your stupid ass success. back there, or Williams. His Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. <laughs> what are the... Oh my god, no. no. We will not miss him. We're glad he's dead. The loss of a trusted ally is never easy to accept. Oh, it's, it's very easy to accept. Rest assured, Done. Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to sacrifice. Who are we talking about again? <laughs> That's how little I give a shit. Everyone is so down about old stupid face make like a loser pen and it's dying. Seriously. Am I the only one who's in a good mood? Jeez. Shepard. Commander. I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been I'm sorry, sir, I don't know if I could have done it. Sometimes That's why I'm in charge. Choice is the I made the right to decision. Succeed. No, I'm not Although, you Ashley is whining about it. Won't make it easy. Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Yes, Commander? How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school, following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. 
Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. Former scientists? Sounds like someone has a project they'd like to keep secret. All four scientists worked on a classified project on the coups. There was a brutal massacre there Zero. years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. That can't be a coincidence. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Thank you, Mr. Fleet. Encryption. 
And apparently there's nowhere to be found. And it may sound weird, but Rex doesn't even... He has that kind of skill. something here or otherwise the point was coming. So uh see maybe that is good. I will continue to do some more for these side missions on camera. I will return to the main mission in the next episode. Good. Good. Comment in the comments below well, how happy you are to see Kay gone. And prove that I didn't make the right choice, even though I very much no idea. Who likes to me? Answer? Nobody. They're just really sad about his death. They'll get over it. So. All targets down. Until. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. I'll see you all next time. For King Philip? <laughs>